I'm Kathleen Griffin. And I'm Ian Peacock. And together we're Hummingbird Audio Landscaping. And we make amazing sounds for events, for venues, for hotels, for conferences, for whoever wants them. And when I say amazing sounds, we can conjure up whatever you want to uh, add a kind of narrative flow to your venue or to your event. So we're here at Lancaster House. It's an extraordinary atrium behind us for the Globalisation and World Order Conference uh, run by Chatham House. We started by playing a welcome Baroque music in the atrium here, which calmed everybody down, I think, when they arrived. Well, somebody said it took the edge off the grandeur, which I think was uh, quite a nice way of putting it. And it did. It sort of filled the space in the way that sound does. And we have lots more sounds to come. The idea of Hummingbird for conferences is that we can supply any sounds that people want. So here we've been asked to supply the gathering sounds for the sessions. So the idea is the sounds will reflect whatever the next bit of the conference is about. It's telling the story, it's kind of contributing to the narrative, it's not just a bunch of sounds. It's just started with our lovely dawn chorus opening it. It's so, uh, the first time ever that international birds have sung together. And then we have winners and losers in the markets, so reflecting across the world again, those winners and losers in global markets. So we have sounds from um, Latin America, in China. It's really quirky sounds, there's an amazing uh, Japanese uh, city noise of a sort of gong and then this guy chanting something in Japanese. Oh. So it's all very surprising and, and of course to some people it'll be familiar, to other people it'll be quite shocking and strange. And then there's a session on global resources, so what we've done is we've got the amazing whooshing sounds of, of oil and gas and uh, water towards the end because that's the, the next big thing, so we have gushing water. So digital comms will have all sorts of interesting digital sounds yeah. from 1914 to present day, some surprising ones, some where people say, oh, what's that? And then we have Global Harmony to finish, which is gathering everybody together. So the idea then is at the end of the conference, people think, oh yes, we actually have learned something at this conference. And that will be reflected in the sound. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Harmony. Leaving to Shanghai Hongqiao Station. Followed by a way of getting people away from the conference to the next stage, which is a dinner um, at the British Museum, I think. And we've been quite clever about that because it's relatively fast processional music to kind of send them the message that they, you know, need to get out of the building. That's the power of sound. It can kind of work below the radar. And the idea of a sound wash, because often people don't actually want intrusive sound. They want a kind of background sound to wash. Well, the surround, it's, you could hear from every corner of the room. I thought they were wonderful. I mean, I, I heard the ones about the the hummingbirds and the sounds of the forest before I knew what the heck was going on. Then when I opened my pack and then it explained exactly what your company was doing. And I thought it was a brilliant idea. I've never heard of it before and I thought it was a terrific fun. And then when you did the, some clapping noises at the end of one of the sessions and I thought that was a hoot. I thought they were beautiful. They were very um, appropriate for the event. Starting with the Baroque, it was quite soothing uh, to help the mood and I love the, the sound effects to call the attention of the people to go back into the room after the break, which is always a difficult one. Instead of having a boring bell, it was lovely to hear the, the mixtures. I think this is something that um, would embrace and I would recommend to uh, other conferences to uh, come up with this sort of um, uh, technology. Absolutely new. Absolutely new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound has the best pictures, as we know. Yes, thank you for that cliche. <laughs> and actually, what the noises do is they sort of stimulate you differently. And I think, what the hell is that? Yeah. And uh, make you think. So it's great. Yeah. I thought it was really funny. And it was much more interesting than someone saying, would you please get in here? Would you please get in here? Can you please get in here? I thought this was really clever.